Welcome back to my channel. If you are the first time seeing this channel, well, my name is Hugo. I go, and wherever I go, you can come as well. As you can see in the title, how to make the most of Montego Bay. I am in Montego Bay today at the beach called Dead End. This is Dead End Beach, right behind the airport. You know, just the back of the airport. Anyway, I'm gonna try to see if I can see any, if there's any, any aircraft on there. No, it's kinda hard to see. So this is one of the free beaches down Montego Bay. Because you know, most of the big hotels are using, are taking most of the beach. So these are the little small places what leave for local can come and swim you know there are other beaches where you have to pay to actually go on there and this is actually one of the free beach so i hope you can full joy the vibes with you today And this is Montego Bay, Dead End Beach. So if you are to pass through Dead End and you want something to refresh yourself, like beer, water, chips, the local rum as well, you know, so you have a little vendor right here. She don't want to go on camera, but I'm thinking, yeah, so everything down in it, like, what, what, what is that, you know, boom, boom, Serna Fies, Sarrel Beer, wow, Jagan, Jagan, Red Stripe. She only here on me and it's Sunday. All water too, everything refreshing. Everything here. <laughs> yeah, look at this. That is a beautiful picture out on the beach. So anyway, so only down here on Sunday. I'm not gonna mention I near, but you will see this pretty young lady. Eh? Oh, her name is Nat, she actually tell me, but I don't know, she's very little shy to go on camera, you know. I I want to take you because she's very beautiful, you know. Look at this beautiful lady here. Hello. <laughs> this is dead end. And we are full joining ourselves today, right here. So this is Usain Bolt Truck and Record Restaurants. Going to pass by the Doctor's Cave Beach. Jimmy Cliff Boulevard. This is the tourist area where people come and buy their gift for when they're traveling back. Here in Montego Bay, there's a lot you could do, but I'm just only touching the surface of it today because, you know, it's a quite a wide, you know, 
Man to go be not just on it on it in this town center alone, but it actually spread out in a wide range, you know. And actually we are approaching one of the park at in the center here you know and this near uptown uptown mantigo bay so this is park called Armani beach <music> All of these places have make sure everybody safe and nice, have the security. But we are going to check through while we go inside here. So everyone get checked, make sure everyone is secure. You know, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Just going to explore in the park, you know. You know, I'm a content creator, you know. For YouTube and I'm highlighting Montego Bay today so <laughs> just decided to come in here to to show you know my subscribers and viewers you know what you can full joy in Jamaica here you know <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if that is if I can get access like to do you normally do it before the huh? first time doing this doing like the, the YouTube the YouTube subscriber. it's the first time I'm a, what do you mean by first time? Let me, just, like let me cut this hmm? Yeah, so I actually just coming out of the arm and the park. The security asked me to go and see the boss at the office if I can film in the park. At the office, the boss say I have to pay 3,000 Jamaican dollar, maybe equivalent of 25 US dollar. And a uh, but I say, what's the difference with the, this GoPro and, if, and the phone? So she suggests I could use, actually use the phone, but I cannot use the, the GoPro. So I said, why? Anyway, I do a few little shots, what I could do there, because it look funny. For, if it was a big camera, it'd be a di big difference, you know? Professionally, I did not say the GoPro is not a professional camera, but you know, but I understand still, and I cannot fight down what the system have said in a way because the government have put out their millions and it's free to actually get in. And if I was spending it like the day and I'm doing some really exclusive shot, I would actually pay the three thousand dollar, but. I would just want to get a few little shot to, to expose the whole environment, so that is it. I'm at Pier 1 car park. So Pier 1 is a, a restaurant and nightclub as well. So I'm, a, I'm not sure if it is Friday night, you know, or Saturday night, you have the, the, the club clubbing. So you could come here and eat and clubbing. I'm going to take a little stroll inside. As you can see, you see the reason why they call here the pier one because it is actually the the original pier if I'm right you know and so as you can see a few yachts are here you know yeah so this is pier one my people you know I, I don't really ever really come over here now I didn't even realize it was that long and wide you know <laughs> So there's the Montego Bay Marine Park. So these are the people who make all the research and of the world surrounding ocean and the area. I'm a little bit early because nothing I've set up yet. I'm checking the time. All the time it just reached 10.30 so 
from lunch time until dinner time, you know, this is the bar section. So this is when they are keeping the big shows, you know, because there's a stage. I don't, I'm not sure if they are planning to do a show. I, I, it already gone, but it looks like there's a lot of littering on the floor. So that means that uh, the show have already keep already, you know, so yeah. Sam Sharp Square. Uh, Sam Sharp was one of those rebel fighters. So this is Sham Sharp Square. Yeah, so there's a banner of Sunfest City. These are a few of the things you can actually view. Yeah, so this this is not far from a city centre. And city centre, majority of people know of city centre. I'm gonna take a little like, preview through city centre. You know, yeah. Where we are right now, they call down here gully. I don't know why they call it gully. Or maybe because of maybe there was a gully over there somewhere. And when it rains, it becomes a serious water problem. So, as I said, this is Mantigo Bay. Yeah. So, we are at the Gully Bridge. I'm making my way up to the city centre. So this is city centre, lot of little restaurants, pawn shop, electrical supply shop, Western Union, all these little bits and pieces, you know, and a few days of monogram here as well, you know. Just taking a little walk down Barney Street to show you this is one of the main streets in Montego Bay. I've done this street before in one of my previous videos, but today I just decided I'm gonna just have a little walk again to show you more about Montego Bay itself. You know, not so busy today like usual. So if you are on Barnett Street and you want some ital food, restaurants, Rastafari vibes right here, so you know, very popular. Yeah, see the you see. So like I'm here now, I'm not really hungry because I only 
don't want to eat too early, I'm gonna drink some water since morning. But you know, like I'm here now, I'm just gonna just drink a drink, see? And Michael, support the world vibe. Hey, so. watch, watch video. Yeah. Uh, two, four, I yeah. porridge. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a juice anyway, so I'm gonna find out what juice we can get. Although it's not early in the morning still, it's not so early, but nearly 10 o'clock still anyway, so yeah. So my bridging, what juice make you have down it? What, what, what juice inside it? Okay, so juice we have available right now mm -hmm. is the uh, we have a little star fruit available. Mm -hmm. Melon, mm -hmm. as in straight melon with ginger. Mm -hmm. and we have kumba, perlina and uh, chocho mix together. So that's a green juice. So you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to take two of them. See? Uh, you have them in a different size, not sure? Uh, no, actually just one size. Just one size? Yeah. So, may I go take Carmel this? Yes, Carmel. Oh, I'm sorry, we find no Carmel. The place Carmel busy, you know. <laughs> oh, give me potato one day. Yeah. Some so, the place is busy, may I have to wait in my turn still. Yeah. 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 You find turkey, yeah? yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah anything I need. Yeah. So, we forget now, may I go take the uh, cucumber and ginger, yes, I see. Yeah. And then the green one now, we take one of that one as well. So it's on the one size. No man, I want juice now. I like them together. Eh? Kumba, spirulina, chocho, one green juice. One green juice. And what the other one them again now? Melon. And we have star Oh, the melon as well. Me take one of the melon and, and melon me take one, one of the one green juice. juice. Ah, yeah man, for real. Yeah. See? And just because I don't hungry as I say, you know me I say, eh. I will just take a two juice, you know, one for me and my, and my wife when we go home. I hope you can keep cool until we reach back home, see? So, this is the middle of them, you know, restaurants and main restaurants on the Barn Street as anyone want to eat all the food, as we say. We can come. As I showed the menu already still anyway, so I'm just going to show you again. That's a one side of Montego Bay and I'm going to go down to a different side again just after here. So still walking. I'm in a, a souvenir shop if you want any of all the product what you really love to, to see in Jamaica. There's this shop here of all what you need as a souvenir to take away with you and be beside me there's a brother who have the shop who own the shop and Wagwan me. Jamaica Bass <laughs> yeah, man, I'm me there yeah, yeah. Man, it's a yardy shop this is called the selection gift shop it's just located yeah. just very close to let me take you my live location you guys can see where we are located at so this is the entrance of the shopping place it's very just close to the nearest in front of rainforest just next to the police station guys all right so this is the entrance you can come with me so we can show you something like this we have nice bags nice displays nice pretty girls who work here <laughs> yeah man i i am that yeah man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. all right the reason why i've chosen this shop here because they are so friendly you know and so nice and whatever i need here they always been a discount for I. Even the glass I'm wearing right now, I buy it here. All of those glass, what you see me on the video, you know, as my family, I buy it right here, you know? So, for sure, you say, it's a nice, like a comfortable shop. And, you know, I'll take you around a little bit more and show you more of the product, what they have here. For ladies, you can see, you know, and one of these shirts here. Oh, this must be, this, this yeah, neighbor by here as well. Yeah, yeah man, this okay. is ladies actually. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah so I have my one here, I, I showed this one. Yeah, <laughs> so these are the ladies one, right? Uh, this is for and the ladies short and top set. And tops, yeah. And we have some booty shorts for ladies, right here. Oh, nice, the Jamaica with, with the Jamaica on the back, you yeah. can see. When they go nice. for a, for Chaka or so many adventure sports, they are nice and pretty right here. Yeah, and they yeah. and the most important, they are all, all available on discount, which is a 50% off, which is 50%. way better than any other gift shop. It's just near, just close to the trial villa and to the breathless and secrets. It's a walking distance. And also not so far from Fairview. The yeah. breathless, just a and five minutes place. walking distance. Yeah. It's not even far. Yeah. So you can get a lot of nice things, pretty things, white Hennessy. 
we got nice uh, imported liquor don julio like white rum casamigos cuban cigars jamaican cigars all official 100% authentic jamaican cigars yeah, these man. are jamaican cigars these are jamaicans on the left guys and yeah. uh, all different kinds and yeah. we got the cubans right and here the cubans yeah yeah oh, man so right yeah. here we, we do wholesale so you can buy the whole box of cubans okay. as well okay. at the best best prices yeah man okay. starting from 9.99 only yeah man oh. us dollars of course see, see. <laughs> and we do provide uh, free samples of liquor guys so you can see before you purchase as well you don't have to buy before you you cannot buy post in a in a bag right that's how we say in jamaica right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so try it if you like it then you can go then buy can it right it, yeah. <laughs> yeah man nice so these are some of the taste taster bottle i can see there are some of it already drink from already right? yeah man yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot of nice and pretty things yeah it's a big shop uh, i'm nick i nick nick yeah man and there's a website or there's a contact anyone could uh, yeah man uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna let you take a picture of the photo of the yeah. location and so you can see my contact number and every details okay. so if you guys want to order online we can ship it to you as well okay all yeah. right that's nice <laughs> and we do sell jamaican beef patty and chicken patty as well because today sunday we don't get from juicy beef they don't sell on sundays yeah today is sunday we have it available every day yeah man we have yeah. nice uh, chips and drinks and all these red beer and uh, rest right beer from jamaica as well let me give you my contact number so they can see this is the old number actually so mm -hmm. you can take a picture of this this from this side also All right, sure. This is Nick, guys. Nick, and I'm located at the Freeport in front of Rainforest, just close to Police Station. And my contact number is eight seven six five five seven zero zero seven six. All right, I'm is waiting for you email, guys. Is there an email address you could? Yes, yeah. we do have an email address as well. So this is right here. Mm -hmm. You can see the ke jamaica at gmail.com you can ask your queries on this email mm -hmm. uh, your contact number also okay yeah. this is my regular supermarket i usually come more like my wife she is the one who come here and shopping you know so this is a supermarket progressive and whatever you need if you're a traveling foreign person, you can get it right here. Not everything, but majority of things what you wouldn't get into in regular in store or so you actually could get it right here. So this is progressive supermarket down in Fairview. Yeah, in progressive. I'm just looking for I'm not sure yet. I'm looking to buy something, but I'm not going to say yet, you know? I keep it to myself. Yeah, so... Fair view. There are a few of these type of supermarket located down here. Yeah, this is what I'm... I'm going to take today. Mango is one of my favorite fruit because I'm a mango person. Let's get a bag and see how much a kilo. And yeah. Yeah, so you have the East Indian mango and the Julie mango. You ever might buy two types and then this. Don't remember what that, that one called. <laughs> Yeah, so this is one of the things I actually want. Oh, I'm going to sh show you something to show you all the price here in Jamaica. Look at this price here. $1,510 for this little bit of grill. Grill. Let me see if I can say anything more like that. The strawberry. I'm not seeing the price. The price is for this little bit of is nine hundred and sixty five dollar twelve hundred for that one there so these fruits are very expensive but anyway this is something you could do shopping if you are here in the Montego Bay Fairview you know so yeah 
get me lovely, lovely, lovely mango. And I'm just coming out of the supermarket. So this is Fairview. We are in Fairview. Fairview is a very busy shopping area. Whatever you need concerning shopping food, it's here. Blessed lion, for real. You see, I want love in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see, I'm gonna pan around so actually can see what's here. Like the juicy pop with the plum, with the diamond. And all. So, so, if you are here in Jamaica or in Fairview area and you're worrying about the network, there's Digicel and also Flow. Those are the two main network here and they're right next to each other. Yeah, Digicel over there, Flow over there. You know, so everything you want is here on my far side over there mm -hmm. there's a pharmacy called Fantano mm -hmm. Cafe Blue so everything mm -hmm. all inside there I have the drive through a ATM machine most of these ATM machines down here in Fairview are drive through so you have no problem you know and this moment yeah, I want to really I'm been dying to pee from a long time you know and now a piece I know where there's a, a little tile it is so I'm gonna make my way around there to go tile it you know how long I've been holding this pee here I hope it open yes I'm big problem you know all right here yeah, I'm going down so this is the back end of most of the the shopping things you know so right here it is uh, so <laughs> there's a tile inside here so you have man and woman the difference with the man and there The worst thing about it, somebody was smoking in there. And I don't like cigarette smoking. <laughs> and this side of Fairview, I'm gonna show it was very important to a lot of people in this area, our surrounding area. Uh, there's a pharmacy around here where it is 24 hour. I'm trying to find where it is. Oh, see it there. St. James Pharmacy. Yeah, this is 24 hour. You know, then as you can see again now, there are more banks, you know, and drive through bank as well. So that is 20, 24 hour pharmacy. So if you are in need of an emergency, and over there, department store, where you can get some clothes, some nice clothes. And most thing what you could think of from the passport place is right over there. I'm not gonna go over there right now, but yeah, the, over there is all the passport place and Cambia, Cambia. Even there's a next ganja lounge right over there called OJ. So whatever you need is right here in this area just exposing what you could do here in Montego Bay so this place what we are going to approach our pass very shortly we are one of the biggest festival in Jamaica keep annually apart from this will be first one from that lockdown time the COVID time so I'm driving, I will just only take a sketch of it while I'm driving past by. So there you have it. One of the biggest festivals I keep in Jamaica 
Sunfest. I'll be there and I'll be <laughs> showing you know, what I can see and what I can hear. I cannot really film too much because of the music and you know the music and and YouTube is they are not friends at all, you know. So we're actually passing the main police station in Montego Bay and this is Freeport police station right over there. So if you want to get yourself locked up, just take yourself right over there and then we welcome you into their cell. Just going to show you the, the boat restaurants then. So just gonna get a small sketch. This only open during the evening time. So you have to come here. I don't I wonder if I'm seeing it, the opening time. No. As you see, it's a dress code as well. So that little boat to get on here and you pull it across. Yeah, that's how it works right here. Let us see if I see a time of opening. I don't see the time of opening. But this only open in the evening time. You know? I've never gone over there because as you can see, the type of food they may prepare over there, I don't even indulge into those type of foods, you know. It's actually traveling through one of the rich neighborhood in Montego Bay. Most of all the, the most well done business. Yeah, as I was saying, most of the most established business, all the biggest business them here in Montego Bay, most of down here is that most of the people are living. You know, so this is the lagoon area. Just a small sketch of it anyway. This is the icon man. who actually built this plaza you know, and I came here even before he had been customers our client who rent out the place I remember once he said it was my son-in-law or my brother-in-law who come here to get his, his hair cut if you want your hair to cut right in here so this one. 